Planet Dolan. Being a student is all about balance, whether it's work, play, money, or time. So how can you make life easier for yourself on the cheap? And what are some of the best ways to make your studies count? Here are 15 student hacks. I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Solo cup speakers. You've got the 24 pack of beers and a bowl of nachos, but somebody forgot to get speakers for your house party. Come on, Chad, you had one job. But never fear, all you need is your phone, a roll of toilet paper, and two solo cups. Cut a slit in the roll for your phone and make a hole for the solo cups to put on the end and voila! Kendrick Lamar never sounded so good. Number 14. Quick cool your bottles. There's nothing worse than warm beer, except maybe no beer, but who has time to wait? Cool your brews quickly by wrapping the bottle or can in a damp paper towel, then leave it in the refrigerator, and in 15 minutes it should be deliciously cold. The evaporation of the water sucks the heat right out of it. Number 13. Self-discipline software. We all know that it's pretty hard to concentrate when you're online. The internet is a distracting place, so instead of actually cultivating self-discipline, try downloading a website blocker. Apps and extensions like Self Control and Stay Focused will block time-wasting sites such as Facebook and Instagram for a limited period, allowing you to write that essay you've been putting off. Number 12. Amplify your Wi-Fi. Are you sick of getting a lousy 2 to 3 bars on your Wi-Fi signal? Try boosting your router with a beer can. All you need to do is cut around the top, leaving a small part attached to the sides, and then cut down the can to open it up. Spread the can out like a sail where the masts are the router antennae. You can sometimes increase the signal strength by 50% by doing this. Number 11. Clean keyboard. Sitting at your desk for a long night studying, it's pretty inevitable that you cover all the surfaces in crumbs. While you can wipe down the desk, cleaning your keyboard is a bit more difficult. However, there's a simple solution. Run the sticky end of a post-it note between the keys and you'll clean out your keyboard in about 30 seconds. Number 10. Focus with music. Music helps block out distracting noise, which is important if you're trying to study. But your choice of music is important here. You need tracks that are consistent and repetitive, so no more of that experimental jazz fusion. The best genres would be minimalist classic music such as Philip Glass and Steve Reich, or lower tempo instrumental electronic music. Number 9. Mindfulness for the memory. Meditation has moved into the mainstream in the Western world over the last decade or so. There's a large amount of neurological data to support the use of meditation, not only for happiness, but also for improving grades. Schools in many countries have trialed meditation as a way to improve student behavior and boost grades. Try getting into it with apps like Headspace. Just 20 minutes a day could help you study better and feel calmer. Number 8. 3 Minute Cuisine If you wake up to find out it's your flatmate's birthday and you completely forgot, then nothing will save the day better than an instant birthday cake cooked in your microwave. Grab a coffee mug and fill it with 4 tablespoons each of flour, sugar and cocoa powder, followed by 3 each of chocolate spread, milk and veggie oil, then 1 egg. Mix that with a fork and microwave for 3 minutes. Number 7. Playback in half the time. With recording technology on pretty much everyone's smartphone, many resourceful students are choosing to save lectures for later listening. This is great for revision or for people who never show up to their classes in the first place. To save time, use audio software like Audacity to edit the playback speed to double. You'll still be able to follow the lecture and it'll take half the time. Number 6. Impressive presentations. There's nothing worse than the awkward silence at the end of a class presentation. Your final words are, any questions? Is met with a quiet disinterest. To solve this, give some questions to your classmates beforehand. You'll already know the answer when they raise their hand and it makes them look engaged so everyone benefits. Number 5. Shower Fix College dorm showers are notoriously low on pressure as they try to feed the demands of hundreds of students at a time. To achieve a spray effect rather than the gentle trickle, simply duct tape a plastic bottle over the shower and poke a few holes into the bottle. British students may also use this trick to turn those annoying separate hot and cold taps into a single mixer tap. Number 4. Read things aloud. This should be taught on the first day of every writing course. When you've finished a piece of writing that you're going to submit, read it aloud. Firstly, it forces you to slow down a lot, because you read a lot faster than you speak. But also, your brain is very adaptive when reading, it automatically adjusts for errors so it might not even notice them. When you hear it though, these errors will jump out in an instant. 
It also helps you notice if you've repeated a word or phrase too much. Number three, chew on it. It's well known that chewing gum can help you concentrate when working, but what you might not know is the taste and smell can trigger memory and help you recall information. Try chewing a weird flavor when revising before an exam, then pop a stick of the same gum in your mouth before the test. The taste will bring back some of the memories as part of your natural Pavlovian response. Number two, spice up your ramen. Ramen instant noodles, the staple of starving students worldwide. But it's easy to get bored of the same packets of flavor day in, day out. For a little excitement, try adding chopped green onions, mushrooms, spinach, or frozen veg to your broth. If you have the money, chopped meat or shrimp will boost the protein, but if you're strapped for cash, a spoon of peanut butter will also work. Number one, teaching is understanding. If you're struggling with a problem or an idea, the best thing you can do is grab a friend who isn't on your course and try to explain it to them. Albert Einstein famously said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And the process of explaining will help you realize where the problems are in your ideas. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time.